Those who are caught being kind this week include the following names. This week's winners are Abby Evans, Cooper Whitley, and Ray Ferguson Jones. Congratulations, students. Please pick up your deck of dollar from Ms. Gates' office as soon as possible. Your deck of dollar allows you to get two free treats or the equivalent of two dollars worth of merchandise from the deck of store. Students, please make sure that if you see an act of kindness, fill out a nomination card, place it in any of the boxes located in the cafeteria, upstairs A Hall, and near the library. This way, we will recognize the students for their good deeds. Keep those nominations coming in. For RECC TV, I'm Maria Lawson. Phones are a luxury most of us have and take it for granted, but we don't think much of it when it comes to interfering with schoolwork. Phones and homework, do they really mix? How long can you go without checking your phone? Like while, I guess, because I've been grounded before for six months, so, yeah. Do you ever use your phone for school? Uh, yes. What do you use it for? Uh, games and, well, just looking stuff up. Uh, I use it for school and uh, Twitter and other things like that. How long can you go without checking your phone? About 10 minutes. Do your phone help you with your schoolwork? I only check it for uh, calls and text messages and whatnot. Do you ever use your phone for school? No. <laughs> How long can you go without checking your phone? Never. Five minutes. <laughs> How long can you go without checking out your phone? I can go a while. Hold up a second. Uh, yeah, so I search up the answers. But, like, if I'm stuck on a question, I just search it up for the answer. What do you use it for? Uh, Social yeah, media. So I search up the answers. Social like, media and texting. If I'm texting. stuck on a question, I just search it up for the answer. What do you use it for? To look up things in history. Do you ever use your phone for school? All the time. What do you use it for? Schoolwork? <laughs> I don't know. Check answers. Only when BYOD is applied. <laughs> well, there you have it. It really seems that it varies from person to person, but let's be honest here. Multitasking is highly overrated and probably the reason for lots of wrong answers. For RCC TV, I'm Alison Mora. On the weekend of April 2nd, thousands of people attended the annual Arts in the Square Festival in downtown Frisco. Over 120 local and regional artists were selling handmade creations such as pottery, jewelry, leather, paintings, and photographs. The artists we spoke with have a passion for their work. I have loved art my whole life um, but I guess about seven years ago I started really doing it seriously and I took a class at the Southwest School of Art in San Antonio from a teacher who did her artwork on wood and that's what uh, got me started doing that and um, I live in Texas and if you look at my art you can it's a reflection of everything Texas. Most of the art was fascinating and some was very unusual. We pour molten aluminum down into anthills and see what they're doing down there. Gotten better at getting them up out of the ground without breaking them and gotten better at getting bigger ones. In the beginning they were small and we broke a lot. My name is Jim Huckabee. I've been a potter for 41 years. Um, this is all I do for a living and I do about 35 shows a year and this is my 856th show. In the last uh, 40 years, I've used over uh, 95 tons of clay, which equals out to about 140,000 pieces out there in the world that I have made, and it's all out there in somebody's home somewhere. Arts and crafts were the main theme, but there was also lots of food and entertainment. Even our own FHS jazz band was there. I love playing out in the square because you know, everyone's really nice. It's always fantastic weather, except for the wind that we had that day. But. It was awesome just to see people's reactions, to have, um, have people react well to it.
The Arts in the Square is an annual event that has something for everyone. It is also a great opportunity to hear the FHS Jazz Band play. They are one of our best kept secrets, but not for long. They will be playing at Denton Arts and Jazz Festival on Saturday, April 30th at 6 p.m. at Quakerton Park in Denton. Admission is free and you can't beat that. We hope to see you there. For RACC TV, I'm Hannah Drain. If you didn't leave your seat to get some food during halftime, you may have seen the color guard at football games. Not everyone knows about the competitions they participate in during the winter guard season. Our seniors have enjoyed different aspects of being a part of this unique group. I enjoy the sort of escape that it gives me. I enjoy being able to learn new skills and be around people who enjoy doing the same things as I do. I enjoy like the aspect of like getting like a family feeling. It's like you earn a lot of friends and stuff. And it's just, it's great. Like, when I'm not at home, it's just that family thing. I know I can go to anyone, and so I just earn a lot of friendships. What I enjoy most is really the family aspect of it, how close we get, and then just performing for other people. It's amazing seeing their spark of interest in it and how into it they are, as into it as I am. <laughs> like every sport, it requires many hours of practice to make it look as smooth as the color guard does. You should practice basics, a lot of Stuff like drop spins and other types of spins that are there, like flutter running. Like catching tosses, you have to keep going over and over to make sure that they're quality tosses and that it looks good. It took about a year to make it look smooth, tend to curve out the um, rough edges, but no, it's not as easy as it looks. It's almost like dance. Just practice, practice, practice. Practice makes better, not perfect, but better. Getting a chance to go to Classic on the Lake and win both times that we've been. And then we had an opportunity this year to go to State and we were um, runner-ups. So that was really awesome for my senior year. I think that if you're thinking about it, you should definitely do it. It's something that has brought a lot of us happiness. If you enjoy performing in a group, you should consider joining the FHS Color Guard. Today, April 15th, is the last day to make changes to your fall schedule. Please see your counselor by the end of the day if you are interested in adding Color Guard this fall. For RICC TV, I'm Alicia Young. Last week, FHS participated in Shattered Dreams, an event organized to prevent teen drinking and driving. The program had a huge impact on the students. How did Shattered Dreams affect you? Um, I think the memorial service affected me more than the crashing just because we really got to see um, the impact that Shattered Dreams had, and especially whenever Miss Hawks brought her sister up, I think that impacted me the most, and it really made me think about what I wanted my prom night to look like, and if any of my friends were in trouble, I like let them know that if they needed a ride home or if they ever need anything, that they could call me and I would be able to help them out. I thought it was a good reminder about the dangers of distracted driving. I know that I'm not always the best about that, and it's good to get a reminder about what's really at stake there. The part that affected me most was probably the memorial service because Eden when she gave her like letter to her mom, her dad, and her little sister it just really hit me hard. I think I just learned that life is short and that um, one drink and one drive isn't worth it when it comes to all that you have um, to lose. The crash affected me the most because it really uh, represented like how a real crash would happen if um, a drunk driver would crash? Well, I was blown away. Um, I had never experienced shattered dreams before, and I didn't know what to expect. Actually, the whole thought seemed a little bit morbid to me, and then when I experienced it, it was, it was just amazing. Everyone involved, all the work they put into it, how realistic it was, and how it caught us all so emotionally. Um, I couldn't have asked for more. It was, it was absolutely amazing. Shattered Dreams comes to Frisco High School once every five years. Those of you here were fortunate enough to be a part of this year's event. A heartfelt thanks goes out to everyone who participated. You may never know how many lives you have touched and possibly saved. To rewatch the video, please go to YouTube and type in Shattered Dreams Frisco High School 2016. For RACC TV, I'm Brandon Wallace. Good morning fellow raccoons and welcome to the Weekend Weather Watch. I'm Kinsley Cook. And I'm Caden Wright. And speaking of the weather, today will be partly cloudy with a high of 79 and a low of 62. Saturday will be rainy with a high of 76 and a low of 65. 
Sunday will be stormy with a high of 72 and a low of 63. Today is April 15th, the traditional tax day. However, the government has pushed back the deadline to April 18th for all you slackers out there. They sure are widening the plate. And speaking of the plate, Frisco Baseball takes on Rowlett in the Rough Rider Stadium tomorrow at 10. And if the weather allows it, Varsity Softball plays Lone Star at Lone Star tomorrow as well. Next week, our tennis team will be competing in the regional tournament in Rockwall, Monday and Tuesday. Today, golf participated in the regional finals, and HOSA had a state competition in Galveston. And for RACC TV, I'm Caden Wright. And I'm Kinsley Cook. If you missed prom, you missed a good time. Let's take a look.